Greetings programs and welcome to Arc Neo Reviews where we are going to look at another fantastic figure from the past of Transformers. Today we are looking at Generations Deluxe Class Warpath. And before I even get into this I'm going to mention, yes, I am missing his missile. Someday I might try to find it, though I honestly do not care. Missiles and I just don't get along. I fire them off constantly. Like I've said in plenty of other other reviews when I did have the missile, I'm just going to throw it in a drawer in a box and never touch it again. So, um really could be could not care less that this guy's missing his missile. So, as you can see, he is a uh dark red tank who's um looking a little more orange on camera. I will either fix that or at least Put up a picture here so you can see um, what color he's really supposed to be. If you didn't see a picture there, that means I managed to actually color correct it. So, um, he does have those usual little tiny, you know, uh, I want to say camber wheels on the bottom. They're basically useless, but, you know, he, he can still kind of slide back and forth or roll back and forth. Um, kind of pointless, I know, but... It is a toy. It's got wheels. Apparently, we have to mention that. Um, he does also have the five millimeter uh, clip system, or three millimeter, whatever it is. The millimeter clip system that uh, was in some of the generations figures, and I want to say, Dark of the Moon figures. I don't have any other figures that actually have weapons that clip onto these. I have a lot of figures that have the connection ports. But I don't have anyone who actually could, has something to clip onto those. So, the best I can do is tell you it's there. He's got four of them. Two on each side. Um, as for posability in this mode, uh, the turret does rotate all the way around, completely free. As well as you can angle up the barrel a little bit. And, I don't have directions for this guy, and I've seen it in every possible combination you could think of so I don't know what's official but you can position uh, these two guns you know just a you know a range of little uh, clip positions that they'll stop at I'm gonna leave them up here because you will need them here when you transform him but you can you know turn those whatever direction as you can see you know there's the button for the missile I don't have the missile was pretty funny. I've seen what it looked like, and it stuck out like a mile behind the figure through that little hole there. So that's why on this guy in particular, I'm really, really not fussed about the stupid looking missile. So uh, transforming this guy is pretty simple, but oddly genius, I have to say. Because he actually manages to avoid a lot of the extra steps most figures with a transformation like this has. So, uh, to get down to it, you're going to come down here, untab the front, uh, so as you can see right there, the, that goes into this, so untab it, bring it down, rotate down the hips into position, then bring the legs down the rest of the way, unpeg them from each other, turn them forward, you're going to want to bring the foot out, and it will untab from uh, the leg right there. Rotate it down, and make sure you bring it down like as far as it'll go. Shin will tab in, and then close the foot back up, and it will actually kind of uh, tab into position there. And you've got a leg done. So, same thing on the other side. Bring it out, rotate the leg, uh, rotate the foot, close it in, bring it back up, put it in position. Then you're going to want to come up here, fold this piece down, and then the center peg there will snap in right there. And then you're going to bring this down the rest of the way, and that little piece right there will tab in there. So, for the arms, you're just going to want to come back here, open this part up. 
rotate the arm down, fold out the hand, which does very conveniently have a little tab right there. You can push down on that, it brings the hand up to where you can easily get a hold of it, and close the arm back up. Same thing on this side. Open it up, it's going to be a little tight to do. Fold it down, fold out the hand, close it up. And last thing you're going to want to do is come back here, open this panel up, and I've seen people like have use something to you know pull his head out from here, but all you actually really have to do is push in on the turret, make sure that you've got it you know all the way down, start pushing it in, and that will pop up the head as you do. And there you have Warpath in robot mode. And this is easily one of the most impressive figures I have ever seen. I, I, I know I tend to gush about figures I look at. That's because I look at figures that I research and I know are good before I get them. I don't collect everything. I collect what I think is cool. And this guy is very, very cool. Um, other than maybe this one little panel right there behind his head, basically a completely kibble-free transformation. Um, barely any hollow, you know, gap areas either, which is insane. And I, I just, that, that head sculpt, I love, love that head sculpt. That is like the most metal thing I have ever seen. So, posability on this guy. Arms can go out right there at the shoulder. Full rotation, though on mine it is pretty tight. He's got a swivel just above the elbow. And he does have... Not... Oh, he does have 90 degrees. It's just a little, uh, little tricky to get to. Um... You can bend his hand up a little bit. Um, there is no wrist rotation. I don't know how that even could have been done. The way he transforms. Um, no waist articulation either. Again, the way it transforms, I don't think that's even possible. Leg can go out that far. Forward, all the way. Back, all the way. Tiny bit over 90 degrees at the knee. And um, nothing really at the feet since they do kind of lock in. But these feet are big and chunky enough that you're not going to have any trouble standing him without that pose ability. Which I do really appreciate. Um, so yeah, other than the missile that I don't even have, he didn't really come with the accessories. And I think that's part of why I like this guy so much. Like... They knew they had something so cool on their hands, they didn't really bother to give it accessories and stuff. This thing is sick. Just completely sick on its own. You don't need extra guff to go with it. And, yeah, hands down, this is one of my favorite tank transformers I've ever seen. Definitely my favorite deluxe class tank former. And... Big, big, massive recommendation to anyone who has, for whatever reason, any inclination to get this guy. If you see him and he's not being overpriced, snag him. He is definitely worth it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.